Hey guys, today we're going to be working on my mom and dad's 2005 Jeep Liberty uh, with the 3.7 V6 and we're going to be doing an air filter and some spark plugs in it today. So we'll start with the air filter. It's pretty simple. You've got two clips. Just pull them up. And pull the filter cap filter housing out like that. Remove your old filter. This is a K&N filter that I bought a long time ago and it's very, very dirty. You can wash and reuse these, but I have since learned that these do tend to cause some problems uh, with mass airflow sensors and things like that. And I just decided to go with the regular paper air filter. So that's what we'll do now. We'll just take our new air filter, slide it right in here. Make sure it seats all the way down. You have some tabs right down in here, and these tabs need to go in like that, so you'll want to pay attention. Make sure that those go in, get it seated fully, just like that. Once you have the tabs seated fully, then you'll just pull these up like this, snap them down, and you're done. Okay, so to get to these spark plugs, I'm going to have to get a few things out of the way first. I'm going to take off the air intake duct and um, our coolant tank to get down to where I need to be. I think everything else should be okay, just should be able to move it out of the way. So first things first, we're gonna get the air intake tube out of the way so we can get to these spark plugs over here. Uh, it's really simple. I'm just gonna take this clamp here loose. And I have one sensor to unplug. Pull this whole mess off and get it out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these three coil packs off. Uh, they have a 10 millimeter nut right here. Right there, we're going to take that 10 millimeter nut off. This whole thing will just lift out. I don't think we'll have to unplug this. We may need to to get enough slack, but this, this has plenty of slack in it, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off and then we'll get to the spark plug. Okay, what we're going to do now is blow out the spark plug holes. You can see how much junk has accumulated over the years. And when we take those spark plugs out, it's going to there's going to be a hole right down into the cylinder. So we want to blow that away from that hole so it doesn't fall into the engine. Before we blow it out, we want to make sure and plug our air intake so that all that junk doesn't fly down in there too. Okay, I'm going to start out with this back spark plug. I like to start out with the ones that are more difficult to get. So I'm using a cordless ratchet, you can use an air ratchet, or even just a regular ratchet handle. But I'll get it started by hand, and then I'll hit the trigger. When I'm done, my spark plug socket, pull the spark plug out with me. This actually isn't too bad. I was expecting it to look a lot worse than this. This is, uh, to my knowledge, these haven't been changed and it's got 130 some thousand miles on it. I would expect the spark plugs to look a lot worse than that. But these uh, NGKs are original to this Jeep. It actually shows you on these NGKs that we have um, there is a torque spec for these. I don't have that right off the top of my head, and I don't have an inch-pound torque wrench. But for the M14, that means metric 14 threads, once the crush washer touches, you're going to go one-half to two-thirds of a turn. So that will seat the crush washer, and you won't strip your head out that way. And it shows you over here, you don't want to pry on the electrode because this is an iridium plug. And I'll show you that here in just a second. You can see right here, the tip is very, very fine. So you don't want to just pry against that to uh, get the proper gap. Here's the crush washer I was telling you about. And on these particular spark plugs, the threads are nickel coated. So I'm not going to put any anti-seize on those. Uh, some people would, and that's fine. 
and if the spark plugs have uh, like a regular black steel thread or something like that I would recommend uh, putting some anti-seize on them especially if they're going in an aluminum head but where these are nickel coated I don't think we're gonna have to worry about any season up you saw how easily the other ones came out after being in there for 11 years and 130 40,000 miles so I think we're good to go you want to always start these by hand So I've touched the crush washer and I'm going to give it about a half a turn and this is something that I can't really convey on the video but I can feel it. It tightened up right there so that's enough. Uh, you'll feel the crush washer there will be a little bit of resistance initially and then you'll continue on and then the crush washer will compress completely and you'll feel it tighten up again and you want to stop just right after you feel that. That's one thing I like about these extra long spark plug sockets. This one in particular is from Mac. Of course, many other tool makers make them, um, but with the extra length, they don't get stuck down in the spark plug well. And uh, I've had a hard time fishing those out with some pliers sometimes. And this gives me a little extra length just, and it's, you can see it's knurled up here, makes it easy to grab onto and pull right out. Okay, so same song, different verse on this side, just screwing them in, tighten them down past the crush washer. You push the safety lock up you connect that back over here oh, we gotta shut this part okay so i have my tools sitting right here which is the scoop for the air intake and i dropped an eight millimeter socket so i'm gonna have to dig in here and get it out and i just wanted to show you that Okay, I didn't drop an 8 mil, I dropped the 10 mil swivel. But I just wanted to show you that because it happens to everybody. What? <laughs>